or zero? Well, depending on who you Whether you're mapping, mapping or you're right. data here. Yeah, my yeah. answer right here. You so, yeah, so what, did ma data for Matt Malad, and how long were you the data? What are you, is it data engineer? Uh, uh, that's a, I mean, that's a little bit glorified. Oh, Just, okay. yeah, data, data technician. I mean, I don't know. There's data dude. There's, yeah, there's not really a, a proper, a, a Term proper, yeah, name for us, but. Okay, I'll call him the data god. First year of the 1000s yes. inline four super bikes. Exactly. That's, that's when you came in and picked it up. Exactly. We were talking a bit before off camera, and you were talking about the data can tell you lots of things, but sometimes you got to go with the rider. Like Matt was saying, yeah, Hirsch will have the computer ride the, the mm. bike, right? Mm -hmm. What what was there a specific time that you can remember when that happened? Oh, there would have been several of them. Yeah. Well, you see something on the data. You know, and you think that you know there's uh, there's some time in it, or you yeah. think there's there's something to be gained, and it's it's not it doesn't uh, it doesn't match with what the rider's feeling. Uh, I've seen some other data guys, and I think that my role with Matt has been a bit different than maybe data people with other riders. Okay. With I, I see a lot of other data people, you know, sort of coaching their riders. And that was one thing that Matt never needed. <clears throat> he never needed any coaching, and I, to be honest with you, I never felt qualified to, <laughs> to, uh, to attempt it. Uh -huh. um, even with what, you know, with what motorcycle experience I did have. Right. Um, he, he knew how to ride, and that was obvious. And uh, so I, I never spent too much time critiquing his style. I'd simply try and look at his style and try and understand what that what that felt like or what that meant. Why there, I mean, obviously you always want to be on the gas. So what's the reason he can't be on the gas? Or why does the throttle go flat there? He's waiting and there's some uncomfortableness that, that explains that. And, and it was your role to try and discover that for, for him. Right. Okay. Um, basically my role is to try and fill in the uh, fill in the information between the comments. Okay. Or, or if you're lucky, try and, and pick up a potential problem or an advantage before, before you get the feedback. Right. Um, Matt was pretty special. Uh, his, his feedback was phenomenal. Um, there were some times when, uh, when he'd have a comment before you could really even see it in the data. And eventually, you know, as, if the problem got worse, you'd eventually see it. Right. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, and, and many a times what his comments, you'd be able to see it exactly in the data and he'd be spot on. And that would, that would make my job, yeah, like I said, easy. I didn't have to go looking for it. I knew right where to go, what to look for. There's a reason why you want to spin the rear wheel sometimes, that is to get the bike to turn better on the exit. Um, sometimes you don't want the rear wheel to spin, but sometimes you need it to spin. If you can't get the bike turned, you need to get a little bit more throttle into it and get it to spin so you can get the thing turned off a, uh, or, or turned you know, on the exit. So I give you the scenario, so all of a sudden I I'm start spinning the bike more than what I want to halfway through the race, so I go up one setting in the traction control and the bike doesn't spin anymore, how am I going to get it turned now? So it's not that easy, it's a very, very hard thing to adjust correctly and to have adjusted correctly for the whole race and uh, there's certain racetracks we go to now that we essentially turn it off because we're quicker with it off so not that anybody would probably believe that or or, or um, anybody uh, anybody else does that now because I can hear a lot of the bikes out there and how much traction control they're using and sometimes I laugh thinking you guys are slowing yourselves down now so not not easy not easy thing to tune yeah it's a tough thing you you might get the wheelie control right for for one section but then have a bit too much in the other and when you get it wrong it's yeah 
you're it's, going backwards. You're going backwards fast. The yeah, and the other thing that, that used to amaze me is like I was telling you before, the the gap between closing the throttle and getting on the brakes. At 190 mile an hour, every lap, there's this split, there, there's a, a moment in time at 190 miles an hour where you realize, I need to go from wide open throttle and six gear, 190, I need to stop now. And you close the throttle and grab all the brakes and by the time you've slowed yourself down, it's perfect time to tip in and hit the apex. Same spot every time. Yeah. Machine. Yeah. He was consistent in what he did, mm. lap after lap after lap, which made your job easier. Yep, for sure. Yep. Um, yeah, phenomenal, phenomenal rider.